Alright, I didn't actually get much out of that last sequence. I'm going to equip my handgun in case something decides to pop up. I feel like I'm forgetting something here. I think I'm gonna get attacked. No, I made it. Out! I did it correctly. Which means in the deeper part of the residence. Let's go. Something here seems a bit suspicious. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Or so you claim. I say that there's a few interesting looking things there. They're just not taking the time to examine any deeper there, Jill. Outside, we see nothing but what we expected to see a hallway. Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Well, ain't that just a little bit ironic, Jill? Seems like, seems like someone here is a pretty big fan of you. I mean, who could that be? Don't do that yet, because I know what happens. It's locked. The door plate reads, Gallery. Don't have anything for that yet, it turns out. A little bit of exploring might be needed. Zero, oh, 002. There's a map of this place right there. I'm going to let this next scene trigger, because I'm silly. There's a map of the residence. Take it? Yes. I mean, what could go wrong with me if taking a map of the residence? Yay, residence map. Boy, old oh, gee, it sure does look bigger than I might have expected. You got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive. Fucking armies of bees doing their bee stuff. I'm going inside room. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? doing bee things is that go be a beehive. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Barry's going senile. Or is he? Anyways, here we have Plant 42 Report. Four days have passed since the accident. The, pl point, the plant at Point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-Virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-Virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy, as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow, it has rooted itself down to the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aquarine. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. 
there's a high possibility that's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to, plant for, to this for plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. Here's a startling idea. Uh, this is just a hypothesis, so please bear with me. Maybe it acts more aggressive and acting like it's trying to protect itself because it's trying to protect itself. May 21st, 1998, from Henry Sarton. Now then, let's check out the bathroom, which is right here, and I happen to know it's a bathroom. Shrug my shoulders at that one. We're not alone. Uh, Resident Evil Remaster is available for PC, 360, PS3, PS4, and Xbox One. Water drips from the sink. Perhaps the valve is broken. Unfortunate for that thing, then. Will you take the residence key? Yes. Water is leaking from the tank. For some reason, I recall there being a zombie in here. I don't know why I do. Going back. Open this up and over through to the next area. Oh, oh, okay. Hi. Didn't see you there. I was having so only got three bullets. How am I gonna handle this? I'm not gonna handle this. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the hit. I have defense items. And run past it while it's startled. I'll handle it later when I have actual ammo. Old newspapers and magazines lie on the bed. Someone appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers. How charming. There's nothing special. Oh, I should have burned him when I had a chance. Okay, anyways, let's go through here. I think I need to push this. I must have pushed it the wrong way. There's nothing special. Excuse me, Zambi. I'm just doing my own business here. Okay, if I'm really quick about it, maybe I can burn him. No, it's not necessary to use this now. That's what you think, you. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, this is probably for the best. I can stomp on his fucking head so he won't respawn or anything. I'll take the damage for the greater good. I'll also use that so I have that space in my inventory. Okay. Now I'm gonna go inside the restroom, not outside into the hallway, because there's bees out there, and I'm gonna not deal with them. Let's go through here. These boots are made for protecting my feet from zombies, and that's just what they'll do. Give me a moment to, I guess, think about this. You don't want to read any of the books in the bookshelf? Or push this one backwards awkwardly? There you go, you pushed it back awkwardly, just like we wanted. Oh my, it's almost like there was something deliberately hidden behind these two non-conspicuous bookshelves. But wherever could this go? There's a ladder here. Climb down, of course.
And time for one of my favorite locations uh, from this game. The residence in general is one of my favorite locations, but this one's also up there. I've heard, unfortunately, from the PS3 and such versions that this area doesn't look all that great. Unfortunately, they didn't really do a good job at making it higher quality, but hey, it's still one of my favorite locations, so take it as I will, I guess. Also, the music here is fantastic, though. Even if it's simple, but effective. To the fate of pushing boxes I go. Before I push this box too far, actually, let me first make sure there's not more boxes I can push over here, because I know there are. No, no, do not push that box, Jill. You'd be silly, too. The first box I should push is you. Now, before I move this box too far... Yeah, this is where I need to push it for him. That looks like very dark blue water. Or I guess deep blue. It's not really dark, it's just deep. Drop the box into here. Next step is you. Let's set this into place. The box right into there. Thankfully, it pushes the other box out of the way, or else then I'd become problematic. One more box to go to make ourselves a nice little handy bridge. I mean, technically, with those two boxes in place, a uh, human could reasonably cross to the other side, but we're gonna neglect that and push this third box here anyway, because that's what the game wants us to do. Let's go. You come to learn not to question these things when you're playing horror games. Let's put this box into the deep. I need a little more pushing. Alright. There you go. Now back into place. There you go. A handy dandy bridge made just for us. And probably anyone else decides to visit the aquarine, but knowing that it, it's probably just going to be us. A green herb. I will take it. It's by the fact that there's a few items I want to get from here, but I guess I'll find out when I go deeper. For now. Into the water to the next area. I mean, what could go wrong in an area where we have waist-high water? Yeah, unfortunately this area isn't looking too hot. That's alright, we gotta deal with all of it. Just taking a casual walk, don't you guys all know? Yeah, I guess the other way will probably be the better route to take. Gotta be just a tad cautious in a place like this, though. I mean, the way this hilarious design is probably a bit... strange? Sharks, of course. I mean, honestly, what would you expect? That shark's kind of derping out. Jeez. What's that music I hear? Oh dear, you can see the big shark so clearly in this version of the game. In the other versions of the game, the water is really murky, you can hardly see what's coming. This way you can clearly see a super big shark down there. I go in here first. The locker is completely soaked. There's nothing special inside. I don't think me going closer to these railing tentacles is a good idea. I'm gonna neglect them. The sharks seem to be having a good time. I'm gonna do something dumb. 
I want to see the big shark. Of course, I don't want to get eaten by it. I just want to see it. The thing is, I might die doing this. Okay! That's all I wanted to see. Not gonna happen before the big shark has another opportunity or another shark has an opportunity to eat me because I'm almost dead already. It's locked. The power room was written on the door. Do I not have the key? Really? Oh geez, this might be a death wish for me. Oh yeah, that's my first death. Hey, at least I gotta see the flowing in the water death animation. And we honestly didn't save all that long ago. Get used to it. <laughs> first achieving for first time. Huh. Oh boy. I just wanted to see the giant shark though. He's cool. Thing with it. The key was over here. We take the residence key? Yes. I just realized that the door that you hear opening is a zombie that comes inside. Examine. There's nothing unusual. Number 01 is imprinted. I need to use the 01 key first. Right. Water is leaking from the tank. Oh, hi, zombie. How do you not grab me? Okay. Well, that zombie failed immensely. He had a perfect opportunity and let slip by him. We're going to use that to our advantage and instead go over here. Ignoring the zombies' fun time in the bathroom, let's now go over to room 101, or 001, which we can now use this key, which I forgot to examine and use last time, and that's probably where my downfall came. Many old crates to climb. So much climbing, so much overcoming. Let's go. I'll grab the kerosene if things didn't go as intended. I'm debating if I should bring something or not. I'm not going to. Please, there's room for key 01. There's no for these for this key. Discard it, sure. Open sesame. Here's another immediate door we can go inside. It keeps on trying to play that creepy music, but it always gets cut short. Let's pull Jerry Wire, pull the plug. Yes. I feel like things are about to go really badly in this room in which I'm in. There's something inside the bathtub. Will you take the control room key? Yes. Will zombie get up immediately? A fucking party? A well-polished mirror? Well, ain't that just something dandy? There was actually a hanged man in here. I didn't get a good chance to see him, though. You can see the noose around his neck, at the very least. Hey, finally some handgun magazine bullets. You didn't get to see it well because I decided to go inside the bathroom first. The bed shows signs of having been used. Here's a document. Or a self-defense gun. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if I were the if it was the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that, I'll leave many things undone. It's a regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand, and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. 
an old bookcase. The books are mostly concerned with literature and philosophy. And there you game back up, zombie. Ignoring you, and let's get the fuck out of here. And there we go. A few things to drop off and pick up here. We got the room that we need. Oh, not the room. We got the key that we need, though, so we can get inside the room when we get to the aqua ring again. Let's go put this way. Combine these immediately with my handgun. Okay. I'll move the green herb further down with all my other fucking healing items I have there. Stun gun, and I think that's what I need to do. Do I really need this book? No, I don't think I need this book. I don't remember having to use that book downstairs. I don't need weapons where I'm going. Get out of here. Wait, I almost walked over the fucking holes. Silly old me. One, a two, a three, a four. And out. It's what everyone should do in Resident Evil no weapon run, no knife, or nothing. It's the only way to experience the true survival horror. Now let's go in here and get back to the aqua green. The only somewhat tedious part is I'm gonna have to push those goddamn boxes again. At least to the way keep the okay, the way to keep itself. I just noticed there's a cowboy hat to the left of there. Does Jill have a comment on this cowboy hat? There's nothing special. Jill, you're underestimating the specialness of that cowboy hat. Anyways, let's go down the ladder then. There's a ladder here. Climb down. I'd love to. Which leads us back to the aqua room. You know what I'm not looking forward to? Pushing these boxes again. I'm actually looking forward to the aqua room. But honestly, box pushing boxes. Who absolutely loves them? Who loves them? Who's somewhere in the middle? I'm just giving the heads up, we're going late into the morning playing the remaster HD thing here, so... I'm usually somewhere in the middle. This isn't like annoying or... I guess even really bad, it's just kind of there. It's just a little bit time consuming, if anything. Correct and Solomore, it's uh, Ryan versus three boxes, actually. Let's see where this goes. Oh, well, it's almost already done. I mean, it just takes, like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something, but still. There you go! A bridge box is made. Or a box bridge, not bridge. Anyways. Greener by Bull, in fact, to pick up. Yep. Let's go deeper into the aqua ring. Surprise, again, waste high water. What, oh what, maybe waiting for a steeper inside. If your answer was something under the water, or more accurately, sharks, you may in fact be correct. <laughs> These sharks do a lot of damage, is the main thing I'm concerned about. I want to see the big shark. I don't want to be eaten by the smaller sharks on my way to see the big shark. Is basically where I'm at with these things.
Probably get the fuck out of here, though. Not that. Use the control room key. There's no further use for this key. This card? Sure. Now, we already saw the big shark earlier, so we can just go on to the next sequence, I guess. Control room time. The warning lamp indicates that it's in an emergency. I wonder what could be an emergency with this place. Are you sure it's not always a flooded pool full of just destroyed stuff and sharks swimming everywhere? Seems pretty normal to me. Let's go on. Little old pool here. There's something or another here. Caution, in case of drop in oil pressure control, open valve number three. This is one of those puzzles that seems really complex when you first just look and hear about it. it turns out to be a lot simpler than you think it is. There's something back here. There's a map of the aqua ring. Take it. Sure. There you go. It's indeed an aqua ring. Has a basement, though. You got the map of the aqua ring. Add to my growing map collection. A pressure shelter. Interesting. A pressure shelter. I think I just fucking read that. The controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. Before I go examine that, here's an item here for me. I will take the first aid box. I'll also examine this back here. The oil pressure regulator. There's no need to adjust the pressure right now. I go down here. The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of the water. You probably wouldn't want to open that anyways, even if you could. I have a feeling it'd go very badly. And over here. Nope. Doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. You don't say. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it, yes. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. That is kind of messed around. Thanks for trying the right thing to do. Pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety? Yes. The safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. I think that's what's over here. There's a control lever for the pressure shelter. Pull it? Yes. Reaching 30% of pressure. Oil threshold. pressure loss, shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. Sharks having fun over there. The switches control the oil pressure valves. Press switch three. Oil pressure regulator. Pressure's already been restored. Okay. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. There's a control lever for the pressure shelter. Bone and buzzer cell shelter safety has been released. Alright, you release the safety again. Activate emergency. Pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. The safety next time the pressure shelter has been released. Control lever for the pressure. Pull it. Yes. to the main machine and do it. The safety has been released. Drain the wire? Yes. See, it's a puzzle that seems far more frustrating when you first hear about it, when you're like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? But it's actually pretty simple. The wire has been completely drained. Green light. 
Alright, let's go on to the other side then. And now that the wire has been drained, it'll be A-OK -okay to step out of here. It's a unique looking door, you gotta give it that. Well, let's go explore in this area. That's not shiny, that's just the uh, way the fucking wire reflects there. The materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. Will you take the shotgun shells? No, I don't need shy, sure. The materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. Diving suits and nets, there doesn't seem to be anything of use. Diving suits and blah blah blah. Let's go through here then. Or maybe more appropriately. Yeah, okay, yeah, through there. I like the sort of green look this area has. We're gonna continue onward though. Poor dead sharks. Sharks are mammals but can't live without water. Now they're like fishes out of water. Now Betsy. Look at the poor creature, it's trying so hard to live. It's almost out of its last dying breaths. Certainly struggling a lot less than it was just a few moments ago. It's losing its energy. Oh, it's trying to get it back. It's the last minute splurge. That's a big shark. Looks like it was very much scarred by things as well. It's a battle scarred shark for certain. Hey there, Big Betsy. Old Sharky there was decided to be left in the water. The water is so much bluer in this game. Anyway, he's gonna, I guess, climb up here. The water flow control system. It doesn't have power. So what we need to pick up is down there. Here's a tip. The generator unit for the wire flow control system. Pull the lever? No. Here's what I'm gonna do. Push that shit in there. And now I'm gonna pull the lever. Poor shark didn't even stand the chance. Deep sixed. <laughs> I get the pun. Ignoring that, let's hop on down. Hey, big sharky. You don't want to go down here when the shark is still alive. Will you take the residence key? Who put it all the way down here? Well, it's okay. I got it. Let's go on out. I'm just imagining Jill, Barry, Wesker, Chris getting out of this, and just having this big old shark on the dining room table in the mansion hall, just consuming it for dinner. Anyways, out this side of the woods. Let's ignore the flopping shark on account that it can't actually eat you if you're not careful. Alright, we're done here. We got what we needed, what we came all the way down here for. A fucking key. I know, poor twitching sharks. And a poor twitching shark thing, because they're almost dead. And have no chance at living. Now, I think I came out of there, so it's over here I want to go to. these doors. There should be a ladder coming up. Well, finally the Alcarine music kicked back in. I'll pick up, I think these are Magnum rounds. Yes, these are Magnum rounds. I will certainly take them. Those are rare and nice to have. 
materials have been piled on top of each other by the overflowing water. Okay, before I accept this, is there anything behind this? The tails are packed up tightly, it looks like a garbage stump. There is nothing back here. Guess the only way to go is up. Or I guess I have to go behind this to actually climb it. Let's go Jill. Nowhere to go like out of the aqua rain. You unlocked it. I don't know what I unlocked or where this was, but I unlocked it. So there you go. I'm pretty proud of myself. Alright, it was back here. I think if I go... Oh yeah, there's no more boxes for me to cross. Never mind. Or maybe... No, I'll come back here after I've defeated Plant 42 in case that's what was causing it. Let me go here and go on back up. There's a ladder here. Climb it. Yes. 